Hey Erica, why has Gen AI become such a huge buzzword lately? What suddenly changed to make it such a big deal? And what even makes Gen AI so unique? Great questions. Wait, Joe, what are you doing here, man? Well, I've actually been around for a while, just like the field of AI, which by the way, is all about creating machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. I figured I'd give Erica a break and be in front of the camera for this course. That makes perfect sense to me. No need to question your presence any further. All right, yeah, and it's been around for a while. Tell me more. All right, yes, it's been around a while, and not only has the technology been possible, but it's been gradually integrated into many of the tools we use every day. You got social media news feeds, voice assistants, online shopping recommendations, and even auto- Auto-complete? Well played. And yes, these are all powered by AI. All right, well, if the core technology itself isn't entirely new, what's changed? Well, in 2022, we saw some important new developments. Large language models, or LLMs, suddenly got very smart. Like, develop a novel algorithm for protein folding while writing a dissertation on the evolution of consciousness kind of smart. <laughs> nice. And certain models started doing some seriously impressive stuff like actually understanding complex ideas and spitting out text that sounds like a human wrote it. At the same time, computing power became more widely available for training and deploying these models. Now, it's like having a network of very powerful, interconnected computers working together, combined with tools designed specifically for AI tasks. These advancements led to the explosion of generative AI that we're witnessing today. Amazing, thanks for that. Well. In this course, we're gonna break down all the jargon. AI, ML, LLM, Gen AI, and more, so you can really understand the bigger picture of what's going on here. Ready to learn? Let's dive in.